We are facing this pandemic on coronavirus 19, and this is a new virus for which we were not prepared. It took the world by surprise, as in most of these pandemics is the case. Uh, there is very little know about how the lifespan of the virus is and for its behavior. So everything is unknown at the beginning, and that's why the spread in the first focus of infection in China was so large, uh, was so fast, and was so unexpected. Even people that do not know that they got uh, the virus can go elsewhere and start spreading the virus, which is what has happened in places typically like Italy. However, that does not take on the importance of what we're doing and the recommendations that we're having. Social distancing in this type of viruses that behave this way is, is a very good containment measure. And as you see, in many of the countries, it has worked. If we manage to do that for a couple of weeks, what we're gonna manage is to contain the pandemic. Institutions like Khalifa University and in concrete the College of Medicine try to discuss some of these measures to try to communicate to the public that you need to be calm, that you do not need to panic as in other places in the world where supermarkets are empty and people are hoarding on resources. So you have to think from all perspectives that this is an emergency and you need to act rationally, read, get into the internet, and if we trust these sites and we follow their instructions, we're gonna be fine. Who is at risk? It is clear that worldwide, the young population feel that they are not at risk, that this pandemic is not with them. Actually, a vast proportion of the cases are in young people. Are they going to die, which is the other number that is frequently quoted? Well, it's less likely that a young person in the same circumstances are go is going to die compared with an old person. However, if you're young and you're in contact with old people and you go out and you get uh, the virus, you're gonna be most likely to carry it to those that are isolated in your family, including the old people, and then they would be at risk and you would put them at risk just because of imprudent behavior. So what we need to do now is first and foremost, number one, follow your institutional guidelines. Second, follow your community governmental guidelines. Try not to contaminate other people by uh, enforcing and practicing social isolation. That is one of the best measures. It has proven to be effective, especially now. Please wash your hands frequently because the virus is very prone to die with very common measurements like uh, soap and water or alcohol-based products. Uh, those work uh, very, very, very well to kill the virus. And last, uh, please just do not panic. All the governments are very aware, are trying to handle this the best possible way. Some have responded uh, faster than others. Here in the Emirates, the response has been very sensible, very oriented to protecting the people, population. Most of the academics and and uh, research people agree with that scientific approach, evidence-based approach to handle the pandemic uh, here and throughout the world.